South Tower I did about four years ago. It's titled South Tower because it's the South Tower to me of the World Trade Center, the last one to fall. And I was on the corner in New York City on my way to the studio when I saw the South Tower fall. And it sort of seared in my memory. Leaving high school and living on my own in an apartment up by here, and it was very liberating. And it was when I discovered there was such a thing as the art world. And there were students from New York and Massachusetts and Cleveland, Ohio, and various parts of the country. And it was just uh, the camaraderie was great, and just the, the thrill of learning about art, you know, in the larger sense, the art with a capital A. And the vibe of the school, at least in my circle of friends and students, was that almost anything was possible. Well, I support Heron because they supported me when I was fresh out of school and had no money. And I was accepted in, number one, and then they gave me a scholarship, number two. It helped me tremendously to, to get that, and I want to repay the favor. Scholarships to anybody is important. I think to artists, maybe a little bit more because it's expensive being an artist as a kid. You need materials, and, and um, especially sculpture. Um, and maybe a lot of the art students are not from the wealthiest backgrounds, uh, and they're following a dream. And I would think it, for them to make extra money to attend art school would be difficult, because it's time, very time consuming to make art. So in general, scholarships, uh, we can't do without scholarships in education. I think the John Heron Public Art Program is a really great idea. I've never heard of it in any other school. and. It's more than just creating the art. It's more than the art of it, but that should always remain the most important thing. If it's not done right, a public sculpture can be more than invisible. Well, I think art is really, really important. So I think giving to an art school is, is giving to the future. Art is what makes the world go around. Art's revered all around the world, and it's a universal language. 